Hello world. Uh, today I'm working on a couple of videos. Uh, in the meantime, I thought I'd uh, bring you uh, some edification and encouragement from the word. Uh, it's out of Ephesians chapter 6. I uh, broke it down into a couple sections. Uh, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. And fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that you are a master according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service as man-pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men knowing that whoever, that whatsoever good thing any man do, the same he shall receive of the Lord, whether he is bond or free. And masters do the same thing unto them, forbearing, threatening, knowing that your master is also in heaven, neither there is respect of persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Now let's break it down. Uh, you know, the only commandment that really has a promise is to honor your mother and father, that you'll live a long life. Uh, you know, don't don't curse your mother and father. You know, even if you are right in your arguments, just just hold your tongue and, and let your parents uh, let your parents uh, win the argument for the for the sake of this promise. And uh, for for fathers, and you know, this can apply to mothers too. Is is don't provoke your children to anger. You know. Uh, Speak softly with them. Don't speak harshly. Uh, and then the, the blue and purple sections I've highlighted is uh, for those who are slaves, whether you're a slave to the Federal Reserve System working for the dollar or, or if you're, you're in true bondage. Uh, I've, I've had to do this with customers where I wanted them to get their car out of my backyard. And, you know, the Lord just told me this verse here is, you know, I'm not working for them, I'm working for him. And, you know, one of, the, one of the examples, I later found out that the car I was repairing for way, way under the uh, amount I should have earned was for a pregnant woman who, who needed it. Uh, so do everything you do as if you're doing it to the Lord. And uh, on the last section, the, uh, the orange is, is for defense. You know, put on the armor of God. Uh, I encourage you to, to read the rest of this uh, chapter. Uh, faith is your shield. You know, faith in Christ will, will protect you from anything. You know, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. If someone comes at you with a knife, remember your, your faith in Christ uh, can save you. That's, it's not a man that's coming at you, it's, it's a demon. And, uh, when you got the Lord with you, even the demons can't harm you. So gird yourself with the whole armor of God and uh, I'm gonna go uh, continue working on my uh, next videos for you which is uh, crowd psychology and individual psychology this is gonna be an in-depth video and uh, I'm also uh, bringing us back to a little bit of 9-11 truth that is uh, kind of encouraged by a we are change video that was just released uh, yesterday uh, and then I'm going to be working on another video about the JFK assassination. So look forward to these videos and other words of encouragement. Have a wonderful day, guys, and God bless.